hi and welcome to our crafting session this evening thank you so much for joining me sorry i'm a few minutes late i was watching a stamping up seminar which was due to finish at seven and they overran by a couple of minutes um but i wanted to catch the end of it so i do apologize anyway we are here now so yesterday you will have seen me create this card if you joined us live it's using the brood for you stamp set that you can see here and it also has some matching dies and i think i might use one of those dies this evening and yesterday we created this card with card sorry with three beer glasses hi carol thanks for joining us Hi Tracy, thanks for joining us too. So we created this one yesterday and I think it was after the session I added a little bit of glimmer with the Wink of Stella. Now I'm not sure that you can, you might just be able to see that reflection very slightly in there. Um, and this is my little practice sheet and I made a note in here of the colours that I use. So this is Cajun Craze ink, so saffron ink. And then when I did the colouring in, I used Cajun, Cajun Craze and cinnamon cider pen. So this is um, coloured in. So I thought we'd um, move on a little bit and use the other beer glass now. Technically, it's a beer glass, but you could certainly use it as a wine glass, which is what we're going to do today. Normally, wine glasses have a slightly longer um, stem, but hey-ho. And I'm going to take, I think it was Catherine's suggestion, of using the festive foils papers. This is actually cherry cobbler. These foiled papers are in our autumn winter catalogue. And there's three colours all together. There's cherry cobbler, there's this gold, and then there's soft succulent. So I thought what I'd do for this one is I have cut this ready to fit our cards underneath. And then I'm going to pop this strip across here and then have this maybe just tucked underneath and then a sentiment going across there maybe tucked on top not 100% sure so let's have a little practice and play with the stamp set so I've got the wine glass and I'm just going to stamp it in early espresso to start with and this is on my practice paper which I will keep with my stamp set you can see i've got a ring from a coffee cup here so that means it must be time for me to change my background paper so i'm gonna put that on there and nobody will know will they hmm. okay this has a infill stamp and you can also use your pens so let's do one of each and see which one we like the best So I've got a small infill here and I'm going to use Cherry Cobbler. Obviously Merry Merlot would be a good choice. So let's have a look and see what it looks like. So I'm just going to stamp it separately. What I do like is that you get these highlights if I lift that up there. Hopefully you can see those highlights of the glass. So let's stamp one. And I could really do with a mat underneath here, but that's come out okay. And then let's use um, I've got to hand I have got cherry cobbler, I thought I had. So these are the cherry cobbler pens so I'll do one of each and decide which I like the best 
Now the question is, can I draw a straight line across there? <laughs> um, the answer is maybe. Whew, just about. So this is light. I'm just going to use the dark. Come in from the edge. And you could do, um, if you're happy with colouring, you could do quite a good bit of shading with this. Just depends on your, how you feel about colouring in. So that's it from either side, and then I've got light cherry cobbler. I'm going to come in with from the sides. And I should have really put the light on the side like they've got there, but never mind. Okay. So I can use my colour lifter just to lighten up one side like I did with this one here yesterday. If you're watching yesterday this was covered, coloured right the way across and I used the colour lifter to take out the colour there and on this one I stamped it before I coloured and left it plain so it's that's quite effective so let's just take a little bit more color out here on one side okay i think i prefer this because it looks much more realistic with the um areas here of where the glass is reflecting. I don't know how much you can see of that really. It's quite good for me because I'm close to it and I haven't got my glasses on. Okay, so let's give this a go on our circle. So what I'm going to do is just grab a post-it note that I have here and I'm just going to lay this across so that I've got a straight line and I don't want to do it too high because I won't fit the glass in so I'm thinking I can stamp three I can stamp the first one and mask it to do the other two or I could stamp two and die cut one. So let's do that so that we get to use the dies. So just going to put this on the edge to the left. A little bit closer that, but can probably fill it in if I need to. This one to the right. Okay, so if I put this one on the top, obviously it's going to cross over. So what I'm going to do is just stamp this onto a spare piece, like so. Now you could obviously have red and white wine here. You have two red and one white if you wanted to. I will need this for my sentiment in a minute. Um, let's just stamp the infills of those. I'm just going to, oh I could do one yellow. Right, I just need to bring this a little bit further down so I can see what I'm doing. 
sorry if it's out of your picture. Okay, that's one. And I've got a tiny hair on there. Or something. And I'm just going to make these all red, red wine, for the sake of speed as much as anything. Okay, now I do have somewhere an espresso or a brown pen. one so I've got the tiniest bit missing so I'm just literally using a dot okay so I'm going to cut this one out so I should have the dies to hand and we have dies for the outlines we have dies for the colored liquid behind so I'm just going to use this one for the time being we have a flower and some leaves three leaves we have the froth obviously the um, bottle and then the three panels here from the other glass, the tankard. Okay, so I'm just going to cut that out. Let me put my glasses back on so I can see who's joined us. Hi Scott, Brenda, Jeanette. Thank you for joining me. I'm hoping I haven't messed it up now I've touched it. Okay, I've just got my small die cutting machine here. Hope you're okay, um, Scott, and that you have some good news soon. So I've just got my mini machine. So it's nice and easy when you've got just a small amount to do. It's nice and quick on your tabletop as well. Glasses are coming off. Just taking time to line this up, and I'm actually going to use a little bit of masking tape that I have here. So I've just lined that up. Don't know why I've got a bit of glitter washi on there. Together because I'll be looking for those later otherwise okay so there's our glass and that can go on the front on front of those like that perhaps I should have done a yellow one for a white wine or a pink for rosé but never mind Okay, let's put this together. So I've got these festive foils here, and although it's almost like a snowflake, it's um, it's like a star. If you can see that, so it's I would say it's not overtly Christmassy, and I've cut this to ten. 
by 14.35 that's just going to go onto there just a single layer on our white base card and then now I might narrow this down I could put this on top or have them lined up or have this on top like so oh dear decisions to be made okay let's just try a different version while I'm here which might be this one I think that's a winner I might make this strip a little bit narrower and then just add a strip sentiment so all I need to know from you is this is going to go up on dimensionals shall I keep it in line lower that can't really be higher so in line or lower is what I need to know from you and I'm just going to pop the sentiment on a small strip I think I've got a strip that might work famous last words I've got some in here those are all the same so another round for your birthday will fit on there I owe you one might fit on there with the sentiment underneath it's too close so I think I'm going to do another round for your birthday and perhaps do that now I'm going to do that in espresso I think I'm hoping that's going to fit on there so I'm going to use my usual trick of stamping it on the reverse just to make sure it will fit let me see. Lower, 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 lower. Hi, Karen. Okay. Lower it is. Thank you. I love a plan when it comes together. Okay, so I'm going to stamp this on the back just to see whether it will fit so I'm not wasting a die cut yep that definitely works but it's got a tiny bit of something on it just wipe that off So we've got lower and on dimensionals for our third wine glass. There we go. Sorry, there's still something on it. I can see a very faint line. I'm just going to try that on again because it will annoy me. OK. 
okay so i hope you've had a good day everybody i've sandwiched you this evening between my stamping up webinar and our team meeting at eight o'clock so it's just the way it goes isn't it when it all happens together that's much better Okay, right, pop my glasses on, see if anybody else has commented and I missed anything. No, we're all good, I think. Right, so I am just going to take a little bit of this off. and it should be the same size as my piece of red I sort of feel I want that to go behind like so Get the one that hasn't got the little hair on it. That one. Like so. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put this on so it sits just underneath those glasses there. So these foiled papers, unusually, are single-sided. Okay, so just to be aware of that, but they are really nice. Festive foils. Oh, yes, I haven't put that down yet. So I'm going to put this flat, because otherwise that's not going to sit nicely on top of it. If it's going underneath, if it was going on top, I'd be okay. Hopefully, I've got that fairly straight. Let's cover up that mug. Okay, this is going to go on top. Like so. There we are. And then this one. It's going to go down a little bit lower, but on dimensionals. That was uh, the overall response. So I'm just going to pop a little one at the bottom. And while I've got the little ones out, I'm just going to pop them there. Excuse the state of my inky fingers. So I can see lots of uses for these. I'm hoping that is still live. It's just made a beeping sound, fingers crossed. Okay. Like so, and then I'm going to pop that on there. I just wonder whether to put a little bit of gold thread behind it to um, pick out this gold, but only if I can just see it to hand.
No. I've got everything but. Okay, let's pop this up with dimensionals. But I have got some gold embellishments I can pop on there instead. And then I think this deserves a wine glass stamped on the inside of the card and on the envelope. Just going to have that overlapping so it's sort of making that connection between the two. There we go. So I am going to add some Wink of Stella to the wine. So this is our glitter pen. And because I've stamped this, a little bit of this ink colour will run. So I'm just being very careful not to go mad. There's that one. And this one here. So there's just a little hint of a reflection with that glitter. I'm not sure in this light whether you can see that or not. Okay. And let's find some gold embellishments to finish these off with, I think. So. Or I could use some white ones. Actually, these little champagne ones would look nice, I think. So there. Hmm. Just going to try one more thing. I'm just going to open a packet of some new embellishments. These ones here. These are the red and green adhesive backed pearls. So these are in our mini catalogue and they have you might think the red isn't in there, but we've got red, green, silver and gold. Yeah, it's better than that. So I think just pop on. Looking for my pencil tool. Oh, which is just here. So I think probably the gold ones would be nice. And hmm, I can pop a few in the center of those little snowflake stars. That's what I'm calling them. Like so. There we are. So there's the finished front of our card. I hope you can see that okay. You can see that little bit of embossing on the foil. So I will finish this off by stamping a wine glass inside and stamping one on the envelope. But I don't think it's necessary um, for you to see that. I think we're... Um, done and dusted so I'm pleased with that um, so that is the wine glass element although it is technically a beer glass um, from brewed for you so tomorrow it's going to be the turn of this chap and I'm going to have a go at stamping this in one direction 
and reversing it and die cutting so that I've got them going both directions. So that's that's my plan for tomorrow. So you can join me here on the Gemini Crafts Facebook page at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and see how we get on with that design. Thank you so much for joining me. Three chair tipped up. If you have any questions, thank you, Jeanette. Thanks, Carol. <laughs> Sunset drinkies. Um, if you have any questions on what I've done this evening, then don't hesitate to pop it in the comment section. I will photograph that so you can see that close up and add the details inside and for the envelope. And it works both ways, either colouring in or using the stamp. So do whichever you prefer. Um, for speed, I would definitely do the stamp. Thank you so much for joining me. Do take care. Enjoy your evening. I've got 20 minutes to grab some food before our team meeting. So thank you so much. Bye for now.